If ceiling of x denotes the least integer greater than or equal to x, is ceiling of x greater than 0? So this particular function, you don't need to know the name of it. It happens to be called ceiling of x. But what happens is, if you put in an integer, you get out an integer. If we put in a non-integer, say we put in 1 and a half, well, then 1 and a half will get rounded up to the least integer that is greater than it. So it would get rounded up to 2. And in fact, anything between 1 and 2 gets rounded up to 2. Anything between 0 and 1 gets rounded up to 1. Anything between negative 3 and negative 2 would get rounded up to negative 2. So, for example, ceiling of negative 2.5 would be negative 2. So that's very useful to know. So now that we have a little bit of an understanding of this function, let's look at the statements. We're told that x is between negative 1 and 1. Well, the trouble is we have two integers worth of real estate here. So if we're between 0 and 1, all that will be rounded up to the least integer greater than it, which is 1. But if we're between 1 and 0, all that's going to get rounded up to the least integer greater than it, which is 0. So, for example, ceiling of 0.5 is 1, but ceiling of negative 0.5 is 0. And so we can pick some values of x where it does equal 0, some values of x where it doesn't equal 0. So this statement by itself is insufficient. Now, we have to be very careful in this one and completely ignore everything we discovered in statement number one, forget about statement number one, and look at statement number two alone. Statement number two alone just says x is less than zero. Well, golly, we have a whole lot of real estate now to continue, to contend with. And in fact, if it's between one and zero, it would round up to zero. Between negative two and one, it goes up to one, and so forth. And in fact, we see there's an infinite number of values that ceiling of x could take because there's this whole infinity of numbers less than zero. So this statement is wildly insufficient. So that doesn't help us at all. But now we combine the statements. Combining the statements, we find that x has to be between zero and one. And this is now bounds it to a unit length of the number line. So here's negative 1, here's 0, and every decimal in this range is going to be rounded up to the least integer greater than it, and the least integer greater than it will be 0. So if it's on this range, we can say definitively that ceiling of x does equal 0. So it turns out if we combine the statements, we now have sufficient information that means the answer is C.